We begin the show with the story of a warship. A warship gifted by a rogue regime to a terror state. The gesture is symbolic. It's meant to enhance naval ties between the two sides. But it's also alarming because the warship will be stationed in India's backyard with the aim of altering the balance of power in the Indian Ocean. Let me explain this. The warship in question has been built by China. The recipient is the Pakistan Navy. It was delivered on Monday. Pakistani officials got the warship at a commissioning ceremony held in Shanghai. And this is no ordinary warship. It is the largest and most advanced warship that China has built for any of its allies. The Global Times made a point of highlighting this in bold. It says the vessel is meant for peace and stability. Is it really? Let's try to find out. Starting with the name itself, Pakistan has named it the PNS Tugril. It was the name of a Turkish chieftain, the man who conquered Iran in the 9th century. We wonder what Islamabad's motivations are behind this name. And whether the ship will live up to its name. You see, Pakistan also had a missile. It named Babur, inspired by the Mughal emperor Babur. You know what became of it? The missile suffered two consecutive failures before Islamabad could even test fire it. And now they have a Chinese warship. We can only hope that it's been duly tested. After all, it's made in China. They come with a reputation. Made in China goods. But for the moment, let's put those doubts aside and look at the credentials of this warship. The Tugril is a Type 054 AP guided missile frigate. The best frigate in the service of China's PLA, People's Liberation Army, their army. It is equipped with advanced radars and missiles and has a fully loaded displacement of about 4,000 metric tons. This warship is said to be capable of carrying out anti-aircraft, anti-missile and anti-submarine missions. It will also be Pakistan's first warship to be equipped with a vertical launch system for surface-to-air missiles. What does that mean? A vertical launch system is basically a system which can simultaneously fire multiple missiles. That's because all of these missiles are stored in ready-to-fire cells. In the case of this missile, the Tugril, it will be equipped with 32 missile launching cells, this warship. And they will all have a range of around 7,000 kilometers. What about the cost? How much does the warship cost? China and Pakistan have not released any details, but reports estimate the cost to be anywhere between 300 to 350 million US dollars, and that is just for one unit. There are three more such frigates that Pakistan will receive from China, and they're all expected to be stationed at the port of Karachi, right next to India's coastline. So it is of utmost importance that India monitors the activities of this warship given how it's currently locked in tensions with both Pakistan and China. Observers say this is yet another move by Beijing to strategically encircle India in the Indian Ocean. It's called the string of pearls strategy. The pearls here are choke points, strategic choke points. Look at China's string. It operates a naval base in Djibouti, the Gwadar port in Pakistan and the Humban Tota port in Sri Lanka, all controlled by China. Now it is also modernizing the Pakistan Navy, shoring up the presence of Chinese-made vessels in the Indian Ocean, so the threat to India cannot be overstated. Neither can the rise of China's defense market be. The warship deal with Pakistan is one among many. China is making long strides in the field of defense, both in India's neighborhood and the world over. In Myanmar, for instance, Chinese state-owned enterprises are the biggest suppliers of arms to the military. In February, when Myanmar witnessed a coup, Chinese assault guns were used by the army to strengthen its control. Then we have Bangladesh. In 2019, the Bangladesh Navy received two frigates that had both been commissioned, decommissioned rather, by the PLA. And why just the frigates? In the last five years, Dhaka has procured 71% of its arms from Beijing. Then we come to Europe. Earlier this year, Serbia purchased six Chinese-made drones at the cost of 19.3 million US dollars. This made Serbia the first European country to use Chinese drones. Now, France, Germany and Denmark too are said to be working closely with Chinese defense firms to acquire drones. China is fast becoming a leading arms supplier globally. And here's the thing. When you supply arms to a country, you're not just selling equipment there. You're also buying yourself a lot of influence. 
a loyal clientele that tends to overlook your flaws. China understands this. So it is selling weapons to the world. Why do you think China gets away with all its crimes at global platforms? Because it has bought influence and silence. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.